Everyone's chasing the next AI trend, trying to build a viral multi-billion dollar software. But there's a certain sector of software that's boring, it's one simple thing, and no one talks about it. Even better for you and me, none of the smartest people in the world are working on it because it's so boring. This niche is the software equivalent of the HVAC companies and the plumbing companies that print $10 million plus a year and nobody even knows they exist. It's one stupid simple automation that I've installed in hundreds of local businesses that makes me over $26,000 in recurring revenue every single month. And today I'll show you exactly how to start it for free get your first client and set up your first client to start getting them results so you can get paid. And no, I don't have some coaching program to sell you or some $2,000 course. I wanna give away everything that I've learned in the last two years of doing this totally for free. Let's dive in. I'm about to dive in and show you how to get customers, how to set them up, how to automate the process of getting them reviews so they pay you month after month. But first I wanna show you like kind of how crazy this is and what an opportunity this is for people like you and I, because BirdEye and Podium, the two biggest players in this space that started just helping local business owners get Google reviews have, I mean, frankly gotten greedy. They're big and they charge a whole bunch of money. You can see this is Podium's pricing. Their cheapest plan is $400 a month and then it's $600 a month after that. BirdEye is a little cheeky and they won't show me their prices anymore because I've gone and showed up, I've looked at them so many times, but it was $389 for the cheapest amount. And that was if you paid annually. If you didn't pay annually, it was going to be more, right? And so these people are charging $400, $500, $600 a month for these local business owners for some simple automations that we can give to them for $100 or $300 a month and be super profitable. Like a lot of times it's just going to be an hour or two hours to get them set up on an onboarding call, you know, walk them through the system, whatever they need, and you can integrate into their processes so they actually don't have to learn anything. Right. They, you just, they just sit back and you get them reviews. And so heck yeah, for $99 a month or $200 a month, I'm more than willing to do that. But these massive companies are charging boatloads of money. And so we can come in, undercut them and get our little sliver of the market. That's literally, you know, 0.0000001% of a multi-billion dollar industry and make 10, 20, $30,000 per month of recurring income to change our lives. Right. At this point, you're probably like, that sounds great, but I don't know how to code and I don't know, I don't have the money to hire a developer or I don't have the money to start this business. It sounds like it's a lot to set up. Well, the best part is that's where high level is. So high level has even the playing field for pretty much everybody because now everybody has access to basically their own custom branded software for $97 per month. You can see all these features are included for three different sub accounts, which means you can have like three clients set up, right? For $97 per month. And for $297 a month, you have unlimited clients. And so you get all these features included for $297 a month for unlimited sub accounts. So you can see how crazy that is. They have made your own custom software. You can put your logo on, your domain, all that stuff available now to pretty much anybody with a credit card. Right. And so the best part is, is that you get a 14 day free trial when you sign up with them. But if you sign up with my link down below in the description, you'll get an extended 30 day trial and you'll get access to my templates, my scripts, my community, my coaching calls, my like eight hour course that goes through everything. Exactly how I set up my business to help local business owners get Google reviews, automate the process and make some semi passive income about $26,000 per month right now. So instead of having to hire developers and figure all this stuff out on your own, you can start on day one with a proven software that people have made work and made a bunch of money off of. You don't have to worry about the product not being good enough because it is. And if you're hesitant and you don't think that business owners would want to pay you $200 a month to help get them more reviews, let me just show you this. You see, do a circle, a simple search in our area, just Beach Bonfires 30A. It's kind of weird. Like we have Beach Bon, we're I'm near a beach here and people will pay $500 thousand dollars just to go set up a, a bonfire on the beach for them and get the permit and all that stuff and they can just sit there and eat and do stuff for her, right so 38 blades is actually my first client ever they've been a client for almost three years now and they've paid me anywhere from like four hundred dollars to two thousand dollars a month just depending on going up and down with different services and stuff like that but for the reviews we've always been doing that and they've got nine almost 900 reviews so 898 reviews they're ranking number one organically for all their main keywords so anywhere in their service area People are typing in Beach Bonfire, they're ranking number one. And not only are they ranking number one, and this is how you can sell it to them, I wanna make you the no-brainer option in your area. Everyone that sees your business on Google should know that you are far and above better than the competition and they should choose you. So not only are these reviews, are we gonna automate the process of requesting reviews to save you time, we're also going to make sure you rank higher on Google so more people see you but lastly, we're going to make sure people choose you to make sure you're the no brainer option in your area because you can see they've got, you know, 700, 800 more views than the closest competitors, not to mention their perfect 5.0 star rating. And so 
you can see how when you tell business owners like this, like, hey, I know you're the best business in your area. Like, I know that. Um, hopefully they are. If they're not, you might have to change the pitch a little bit. But to them, like, yes, of course, I just want my business profile to reflect that. And so our job at Review Harvest or whatever the name of your company is going to be or whatever is to make sure that your Google business profile accurately reflects all your customers and how happy they are. And so that people will choose you when they look you up on Google because you look like the no brainer option. And so that's what we're going to do, getting you more reviews. So how do we actually get these businesses reviews, right? First thing you need to do, you need to get an account at a high level. Feel free to sign up my link down below in the description. You'll get an extended 30 day trial. You'll get coaching calls with me. You'll get access to my community, snapshots, templates, all that sort of stuff. Um, so if you're not doing that, what are you doing? Uh, you want to go ahead and click on create sub account, right? So you're in your agency view. This is separate from the sub account view. The agency view is kind of zoomed out. You can see all your clients under you. So you click on sub accounts, you click on create a sub account. And from there, you can just use a snapshot that you got, uh, email to you automatically and it's actually in, in the community. Um, but if you sign up my link, you'll get an email to invite to the community and then you'll get access to the snapshot through the community. And then you can just click on select continue with my snapshot. What my snapshot is doing is basically all, I think I have like 15 automations in there already built out. These are very complex automations, built in notifications, built in tracking. Basically there's a custom value key where we can change everything on how the sub account behaves. And I'll show you that later. Um, but it's supposed to make it super, super easy to onboard a new user in 15 or 20 minutes without having to go into every single workflow or go into every single template and changing it every time you get a new customer, right? And so if you can't find their business on Google Maps, you can just add manually here. But let's say we find plumber, just Plumber Local Union, perfect. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add some dummy information here. This is creating the business details of the sub account. This is not adding them as a user, it's just creating the sub account. So let me add some dummy details, we'll go to the next step. After you've added your clients, your new client that said yes, after you add their information here, click on add to sub account, and it's gonna take you to kind of the agency view of the sub account where you can manage uh, particular things for it, right? So once this loads here, you can see you'll be able to add a uh, card on file to turn on SAS and rebilling. Uh, this is basically where if they're incurring any expenses of like text and email expenses, you can add their card on file and you can just rebuild those expenses to the client. That way you don't have to eat them, which is something I do recommend. And you, we go ahead and switch to the sub account. Now what we want to do is we want to basically, I'm going to show you kind of what you would walk them through on an onboarding call. There's three or four big things we need to happen on the onboarding call. Number one, we, they need to click on connect their Google business profile here. So tell them to click on Launchpad. Click on connect their Google business profile. It's going to prompt them to just log in with their email that manages it. This is going to allow us to respond to their reviews, get their Google review link, uh, post these reviews automatically, all that jazz. The second thing we need them to do is we need them to upload their previous customer list, right? So this is where you go to their CRM, you go to their booking system, you download their list of previous customers as a CSV file, and then you import it right here. This will allow us to do a review reactivation where we slowly reach out to all their previous customers. We get them a whole bunch of reviews up front, so they love us and they know that we're doing a great job and they can trust us in the future and they'll be paying us for hopefully years to come, right? And then once you get this previous customer list, you want to find a way to automatically add their new customers. So what that's called is this integration, a CRM integration is what I normally call it. I've got plenty of other videos on my channel about how to do a CRM integration uh, so that anytime they get a new customer, it's automatically added and they automatically get a review request. From there, what we wanna do is we wanna take them to marketing and we want them to connect their social media accounts. After they connect their social media accounts, they'll be able, we'll be able to click on just post reviews. We only wanna post five-star reviews. We'll be able to upload a couple photos. And now every time they get a five-star review, we're automatically posting it to their social media with their logos, their photos, stuff like that. So they know that we're doing good work and they'll continue to pay us. Um, those are the main things that you need to get from them on an onboarding call. And after the onboarding call, you wanna to come to reputation you want to come to settings uh, and you want to make sure you turn on AI review responses. So this means that every time they get a review, we'll automatically respond to all the reviews for them. And the cool thing is, is nowadays you can create separate agents for different sort of reviews, right? So we might want Taylor Saylor to respond to our four and five star reviews because she's optimistic and great. Whereas we might want Grace Space, these are just templates, but you can build something from scratch. We might want a more empathetic and solution oriented agent, AI agent to respond to the negative reviews. And so we'll just say we only let them respond to, let's say two stars or below. And that way you'll get a good review response for every single review. And instead of kind of getting a generic boilerplate AI review response to every single review. And lastly, we're just gonna navigate to settings. We're gonna go to the custom values and this is the brains of the operation, right? I've said this before, but basically this snapshot 
I created it in a way where you'll be able to onboard a new user, a new business, in hopefully 15 to 30 minutes, just by changing some values here and tweaking some other stuff if needed. Um, so what I mean by that is like, you can just say, if this is a recurring service, these customers are gonna be added every single week. We don't wanna follow up three times because then they're gonna get hit, touch three or four times every single week with a text and email requesting review. And they're gonna do that until they leave a review, right? And so, which that's another thing our, our, my snapshot does, that my snapshot is gonna track whether or not they left a review. And if they have left a review, we're gonna quit following up right? If you're adding again in the future. But when it comes to how many times to follow up, like you don't want to follow up with somebody three times in one week, and then they're going to be added to the review request workflow again next week, right? So you might want to change that to zero and stuff like that. But you can just change all the values here and you'll be good to go and they'll be ready to start getting some reviews. So now what you're probably waiting for, how do you actually get customers? How do you actually get these business owners to be interested in what you're selling? And I wish I had some magic pill that I could give you for a thousand dollars in a 999 course and sell it to you, but I don't. Okay, this is actually just what I did. I'm gonna give you the information for free, give you the scripts I send out. This is legit how I did it. And so step one, what I recommend to everybody is get proof nonprofit, right? Get proof that you have helped this business go from X reviews to Y reviews or help them you know, get this amount of customers, this amount of new calls from Google before you worry about getting paid. That's That just served me really well just so I could get reps under my belt so that then I felt confident enough charging and selling selling this service to people, right? And so how I did that was friends, family, phone contacts, Instagram followers, all that sort of stuff. The message I sent out to my network to like for warm outreach or whatever was pretty simple. Hey name, launching this new business slash service to help business owners get Google reviews. This allows them to rank high on Google so more people can find them. I'm doing it for free. I just want to get some feedback. Do you know any business owners to be interested? Make sure you say, do you know anybody who'd be interested? Not, are you interested, right? You're not really soliciting them. It's a small tweak, but even if they own a business, you want to ask if they know anybody, right? If they want it for their own business, they'll just say, yeah, I'm interested. And if they don't, they might send somebody your way, right? After you go ahead and get some people set up just from your warm network of people already know, like, and trust you, now we can go use that trust to go start making some money, right? So I use my network first, and then I went to my area. So I did cold outreach to my area, uh, my local area, but I was able to use being in the same local area to leverage some of that trust. So you're going to have a certain amount of trust if you can sit down with somebody face to face, or if y'all go to the same church, you know the same people, or you have some mutual friends, just saying that you are from their area is going to generate a lot of trust. Okay. And so I recommend reaching out to people locally in your area. And then from there, step three was kind of turn, turn it on steroids, which was using all the proof that you've gotten from your network, from the local cold outreach, and now go ahead and do ads. So run ads to your local area. I live in a place that has like 15,000 year round residents. And I was able to go from about 30 to 60 customers just by running local ads. And I did that in about two months. And so the cold outreach script that I, you can screenshot this, the cold outreach script I used for you know, start reaching out to people cold in your area is this one right here. And then you can turn that on turbocharge by doing ads. And then the hardest transition I probably made was going from local ads to national, right? Nobody knows you, nobody trusts you, nobody likes you. People, you have worse show up rates to the calls, you have worse close rates, um, it's a harder sell because they don't know you from anybody. And so that was one of the hardest transitions I had to make. Um, so that's why I recommend starting locally. And if you live in an area that has 100,000 people, you could probably grow a 10,000, 20,000, even $30,000 per month business just staying in your local area. And I wanna let y'all know, I don't wanna be like those YouTubers or other high level affiliates out there that just tell you you can make $2,000 a month overnight. It's so easy, so amazing, great. I wanna tell y'all that this is hard. It's a simple business, but it's not easy, right? Just to illustrate that point, I wanna show you mutual.io. You know what mutual.io was? It was the first version of Review Harvest. I started it like three years ago, and then I quit it for like you know a whole year because I didn't actually give it the time of day because it's hard, right? Like I struggled to get customers. I struggled to like, you know, get people's card on file. I struggled to set it up and actually get people reviews because I didn't know what I didn't know, right? And, you know, I spent an ungodly amount of time on this infographic that really never did anything. I think I probably sent it to a couple people. And so just to let you know, like during this video, your emotions might be high. You're like, oh, this is so exciting. Great. And it totally is possible. And I give 
all the training. I give everything away possible so that you can get your own results. I mean, I already have people in the community. If we go to our wins, we have people booking meetings for clients this week alone. You know, first free trial customer, ATP approval. That's basically getting phone numbers verified and stuff like that. Facebook ad wins. Got my first client, 23 clients on board. You see people are getting results, but you can see like Connor said it best. It takes time and effort and a lot of earning. It took him seven months to get to 23 clients. But imagine you probably might have already spent four years at college getting you know, just an education that when you leave, you might be able to get a job paying you $40,000 $50, a year, depending on your degree. You know, obviously if you have a legit degree, you're good. But if you really truly build this, this can start to create some semi-passive income for you. And it is difficult. I just want to, I just want to be realistic with you. I just want to make sure expectations are set properly. So all my training, access to coaching calls with me, uh, my courses, my templates, all that stuff is available for $2.99 a month. But I do not want you to pay $2.99 a month. I would much rather you just sign up with my link down below in the description to high level. You're going to get an extended 30-day trial. You pay the same exact rate. I just get a percentage of it. And I get to give you a whole bunch of free coaching. It's a good deal for everybody. If you already have high level you can just upgrade to the next plan with my link and you'll get access to all this stuff for free my sales and onboarding call recordings a seven day a to z reputation agency course have to start from zero and have it up and running and have your first client within seven days all that stuff as you can see we have four coaching calls a week one with the facebook ads expert and three with me and i'd love to just kind of meet you where you are and help you out so I look forward to seeing you in the community and if you like this video feel free to check out the next one it's a nine hour video showing you exactly how i run my entire business from scratch all the way from starting with nothing to having a business up and running and getting paid.